Hi, my name is Timothy Schmaltz. I am the sculptor of the Human Trafficking Monument, Let the Oppressed Go Free, which is today finished. It was an amazing emotional experience creating this piece. I wanted to actually kind of give an authentic representation of human trafficking. Oftentimes, uh, the people that are fighting human trafficking are criticized for bringing these visual stereotypes of just a young woman with chains or her, her hands tied up. And that's what a lot of people say that that's only a part. Women uh, sex trafficked are only a part of human trafficking and they don't necessarily always look like prostitutes. So by having a sculpture that has more than a hundred figures in, I could really sculpt a portrait of, of what human trafficking looks like and all of its different disguises, all of its different elements within one sculpture. In a sense, it's a sculpture park on human trafficking. Not only do I have all the different emotions represented, all the suffering, the hope of freedom represented within this piece, but I have the details of the figures that you would never presume would be human trafficked. Women that look normal, that look like the girl next door, workers that are hardly ever seen outside of the factories that they work in, people that have been organ trafficked. I also have child soldiers, child brides, and beggars, child beggars, and child laborers. It's an amazing portrait of all the different ways our world kind of perpetuates human trafficking and, and modern day slavery today. It was interesting because it was early on in, in the project that I realized the connection between human trafficking and money. You can't escape it. And I've represented it with the, the tattoos that some of the young women are branded that are literally symbols of money. I also have the child beggar with the coins put in the basket. The sculpture really, when one looks at it, is an opportunity to contemplate and meditate how we have to change our society, how we have to put humanity above money. And hopefully this sculpture will be a beacon of that message that all human life is sacred. Thank you.